What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know it is. It's your boy Kepo, man. All right, today you guys want me to check another Asian boss, man. It's called How Fluent Are Filipinos in English? I'm going to say they're pretty fluent in English. I'm going to say it because here's the thing about it. Being over there in the Philippines, I will tell you guys, the second language of the Philippines is basically English. And here's the funny thing. I, I don't know if some people could, could say this is true or not. But for some reason, the Filipinos have an accent. But as soon as they sing like an English song or something like that, the accent is completely gone. I'm telling you, it's completely gone. Like, uh, put in the comments down below if you guys think this is true. Because for me, this is what I noticed. And I, I can't, I'm like, what? Where did your accent go? Like, completely gone after singing the song. I was like, I don't know. Anyways, before we get into the video, guys, you guys can give the video a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys. All right. Anyways, let's go. Mabu, hi, everybody. Ako po si Marie from Asian Boss. Did you guys get that? Mabu, I was hi. speaking in Taglish, one of the That's most what it is. Taglish is a big one. In one of our previous videos, we did a street interview in Manila and challenged Filipinos to speak only in Tagalog. But today, we're going to switch the challenge and have people speak only in English. So let's see how well they do. Uh, sa tingin nyo, ilang percentage na mga Pinoy ang nagsasalita ng English? I think uh, 80 to 85 percent. Sa panahon yep, ngayon, I believe 30 that. percent na lang palagay ko. Mga nasa 80 percent. Siguro 80%. yung mga, ma magagaling talaga mga 25 ganun. Feeling ko 70 percent kasi ano, uh, di ba official language din yep, naman yung yep, English. Yep, the second. Uh, I said that. Most Filipinos, syempre, si gadgets. Tapos natututunan sa school. Uh, halos lahat ng subjects. Uh, yun yung ginagamit, English language. So it's, it's taught to uh, from like really young. Taglish kayo, nagmimix kayo ng mga language, English, Tagalog. Yeah, you hear Taglish a lot. Spanish terms. Uh, tama ba ako? Apo. <laughs> Apo. For the sake ng global viewers natin, can you explain ano yung Taglish? Taglish po are, is a combination of English and Tagalog. Yeah. In the middle of the sentence, uh, Pwede kang magtagal, magtagalog and then switch Because you can't, you don't know the word. Hindi ko alam naging A lot of them say that. They forget the word. Huwi ng pagsasalita. Especially sa millennials. Ito po, challenge po tayo, ma'am. <laughs> From now on po, English lang po yung salita nyo yung isasag, pagsagot nyo sa question ko. Is that possible, ma'am? Oh. Yes, it's possible. If you ask us uh, some questions about English, you, uh, okay. She's got it, she's got it. Also in English. Okay, sige. Okay, Siggy. No, she, <laughs> she already started answering it in uh, Filipino already. Of the FIFA World Cup? Yes, I watched FIFA World Cup. From the group stages to the finals. No. Because I really like oh. volleyball. She, she, she couldn't I'm do it. I'm a volleyball player since elementary. So, yun yung dun ako. I'm nakapokus ako sa ganung sports. She doesn't even realize that she's doing it. Like, she really doesn't have any idea dun. Uh, we are. Mm, we used to watch Basketball. FIFA because we are not a big fan of um, FIFA. Ah, FIFA. Uh, why do you think, sir, it's, our it seems like it's really hard for him. Fail to qualify for the FIFA World Cup. There, there are a, uh, there are a lot of factors that which is the Filipinos are not getting this. No, nah? uh, that is mm, for my side. Oh, uh, is it really that hard? No. He, he, he is so tempted right here. He is legit so tempted right here to like to speak English because he he's trying to find the word. He doesn't know exactly the word is. Because we are not capable to qualify in FIFA World Cup because we because peace. Physically, Filipino is small, smaller in height, and other... There are some tall Filipinos. I've seen some tall Filipinos. We cannot afford the registration in FIFA World Cup, or we are not, we are not physically fit and trainable in terms of FIFA World Cup. What do you think should our Philippine government do or athletes do in order for them to be included in international competitions in the future? Uh, for what I think, they they should do more practice and then uh, what else? Uh, for go, for the government, of course, they should help the athletes too. Like um, 
Yeah, but it's hard, right? That's the thing about it. It's, it's so hard. Like, she she forgot the word. Them, uh, See, this I've noticed a lot. A lot of my friends, they tend to forget the words, especially when they try to speak the English to me. Like, when I was in the Philippines, they would tell me, like, they actually enjoyed trying to speak English with me. I'm like, I, I get it. I'm like, why? They're like, so we get to practice our English. Because apparently when the Philippines, like, why even bother to speak English? Most of the time, they just speak Filipino to each other or uh, in the, uh, the other languages. I think, uh, like, Basaya, Cebuayan, they're slightly different. Cebuayan Cibu is more closer to Spanish, I feel like. I feel like if a Spanish person is Cebuayan, they can talk together. Uh, no. Support. Yeah, pwede na po tayo mag-taglish ulit. How was the challenge, ma'am? Ang hirap. She's still speaking. Ang hirap. <laughs> May hirap kasi. Hindi ako nakapagsalita ng diretso. Hindi. Yeah. Go for challenging. It's very challenging. <laughs> Especially when oh. people still living over there. But they understand you. Scale of 1 to 10, how, how difficult it five. is. <laughs> five. They still understand you, though. Yes. 5 is for the English and 5 for the Tagalog. Uh, <laughs> so he mix it. Fine, fine. Siguro medyo prepared naman ako to speak in English because I am a future educator so I Okay, so uh, you practice. Talagang inaral ko yung English para may deliver ko yung lessons ko in the future. Kahit naman like English subject namin, pinagtatagalog pa rin kami ng teacher namin, pinagfi-Filipino. Yeah, that's that's kami. it. That's exactly what I said. The, 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 why they don't really have to learn it because the thing but well, after they learn it, they don't get as much practice because when you, in in the Philippines itself, they always use it in Tagalog. It's when when they travel abroad more that's when they start using English or when they, they have to, like if they meet someone new, like for example, if they meet me on the streets, they will probably speak more likely English to me and hoping, you know, I understand a little bit of Tagalog. So I, I don't, so that's why I'm, I'm really glad that over there in the Philippines that majority of people speak English. And this is probably why I would recommend the Philippines to a lot of people. And even for myself, when you go for vacation, there's no way, even spending three months in the Philippines, I barely like, went to a fraction of places in the Philippines. That's how many places there are in the Philippines. Like, if you want to go somewhere, it will take you a couple of years. I'm telling you, a couple of years for you to go see every beautiful thing in the Philippines. And the thing about it, it's so diverse as well. That's why there's just so many things in one location. So, yun, di rin kami masyadong straight English. Nahirap po. Kasi, mahirap maghanap Words. words, ng right words para Yeah, see, that's what it is. Kasi usually Taglish talaga yung ginagawa. <laughs> Bakit mo minimix yung Tagalog and English sa pagsasalita mo? Ah, uh, me medyo bulol din po kasi ang magtagalog. Ang hirap din namang magsalita ng diretsong Tagalog. Like what it is I, as well. I feel like the older generation know how to speak Tagalog better than the younger generation. Because the younger generation, they're, they're mixing it with a lot of like in English content and stuff like that. Like so over there, they show a lot of English shows, and they're always mixing it around, and they have to learn both. So yeah. Kasi may mga Pilipino ang hirap mas madale sabihin ng Tagalog at English. Actually, hindi ko rin alam. It just comes off naturally. Pero um, meron kasi mga ideas siguro that are best. Um, express in English and then there are others na mas maganda kong Filipino. Yeah. Pag laging yung Taglish kasi minsan may mga terms tayo na hindi alam. Can't remember the words Tagalog. exactly so you so, switch to English. So mas madali siyang i-English kasi common siya. May incident na ba nangyari na may kausap kang native speaker ng English and then hindi kayo nagkaintindihan kasi nag-Taglish ka or nag-Tagalog ka? Uh, yes, like for example with my cousin since he was born in the America I was speaking in Taglish also. Yeah. I thought he would understand, but no. He doesn't. In December when I was with my English. cousins, uh, they, they migrated from Philippines to America. The scenario was actually in a Starbucks when I asked him to buy me a frap. So I said, He failed to understand me, so what he did was just give me his money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Solve the problem, right? tingin ng society ng Filipino sa isang fluent magsalita ng English? Well, culturally, mga tao, pag naging English, syempre, uy, matalino, maraming alam. So, parang mga iba, natatakot siguro mag-English kasi baka kutsain na gano'n. Ano, mas higher yung tingin sa'yo ng mga tao. Parang ang dating, ang galing ang tali, talino mo pagka fluent ka, pagka fluent ka mag-English, pero hindi naman lahat ng fluent mag-English ay matalino. ba? Diba? Uh, alam naman po natin yung mga Filipino, lagi pong nagpupunta sa iba't ibang lugar, gano'n. Mas 
mas good good po kasi ano yeah. para para everyone in the world uses English tao, right makapag pa, maging confident po sila na like i would believe that english is the world's language the global language uh everyone pretty much should know english and i think that's like one of the between english and spanish actually i think spanish is also used a lot so it's between english and spanish i personally want to learn some spanish and i feel like learning spanish is close to learning cebuanan that's why so i can learn some cebuanan tagalog like i only know like some basic words like ako si kevin agusto ko uh among pangalan mo like what is your name uh ako si uh what else do i know mabuha i think that's famous uh walang anuman like walang anuman walang anuman you you're welcome but someone said you don't really use that very much that's one i don't shouldn't really need and uh, one of my friend uh, jeff over there in the philippines told me to use a lot was if you really want to know people think you know what you're saying just say diba diba and shake your head diba 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 uh right like oh oh and hindi hindi for no i learned some things i really think i need to pick back up and try to learn some more cuz i am planning to come back to the philippines pretty soon it's more likely going to be for the christmas season because the christmas season over there is pretty lit like honestly you guys start at christmas in september and goes all the way till pretty much easter like, that's crazy that's the longest christmas season in the world i would think right uh makipag-usap sa mga tao gan kasi so, tingin niyo ba dadating yung time na hindi na magsasalita ng Tagalog or Taglish yung mga Filipino in favor ng English lang, ng speaking fluently in English? Uh, feeling ko po parang dadating po, pero sana wag naman. I, I think din na hindi yun mangyayari kasi uh, sa panahon ngayon talagang, di ba, binibigyan na ng importansya yung wikang Filipino. Kani apo ko, alam mo ba, English speaking oh. siya, bata pa. Ngayon, nahihirapan kami magturoan ng Tagalog. Mali, mali yung ganun. The hard time chip. Yeah, because he learns more English. It's hard for him. Grabe hindi talaga marunong mag-Tagalog. Kailangan mo talaga i-translate kung minsan. Sabi ko, buti na lang hindi ako Filipino teacher sa kanila. So, if ever po dumating yung time na yun, sir, ano po sa tingin nyo ang relevance noon sa Philippine society? Ano, maano. Parang may negative side din eh. Kasi yung culture natin, yung language natin, mawawala. Pero kung the positive side naman... I don't think they'll lose their language or culture. Because we're fluent in Filipino and English, so we can communicate even with them. That's the positive. So, when we get to the answer, 50-50, there's a lot of things that happen. That's what happens. Because I'm pretty sure they still teach like, Tagalog in school. Like, I know in Canadian schools, there are some like Filipino schools here that they do teach um, like a lot, anyone, not just Filipino kids, anyone who wants to learn how to speak uh, Tagalog or Visayas. Or Cebuana. Those are the three ones I know. The three main ones, at least, I think, that, that are out there. And yeah, I know people that they send their kids to that because they want to learn it. Hindi nagagamit ang isang wika. Mamamatay ito. So, kailangan, um, pwede natin i-adapt yung Western languages, pero i-incorporate natin siya sa wikang Filipino. Kasi, through through that, ano, mas magiging mayabong yung wikang Filipino. Kaya, nakasad lang kapag hindi na ginagamit yung wikang Filipino. Kailangan mahalin mo yung sarili mong wika kahit na sabihin mo na uh, second language. Yeah, they, love, they still love the language. Uh, hindi mo pa rin dapat ipagpalit yung uh, sarili mong wika dahil ikaw ay tunay na Pilipino. So there yeah. you have it. We I agree. 100% agree with the last statement. And we know that though it may not be an actual representation of all of the Philippines, we hope that you learned something from this. What yeah. other topics would you like to see covered? Yeah, that was good. I, I actually do enjoy watching Asian Boss. I feel like they do, do make very good content to watch. So if you guys haven't checked Asian Boss out, you guys need to check Asian Boss out. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, you might as well hit that subscribe button, all right? Just hit it now and like the video and share the video. And anything else you guys want me to check out, put in the comments down below. All right, bye.